long ago. A little pig wrangler roamed the rolling hills and grassy knolls of pre-woman's rights America. That wrangler, nicknamed the Little Magician, roamed and roamed right on till he roamed into the White House and became the eighth president of these United States. His name was Martin Van Buren. Martin B. made some big changes when he was elected. Not to foreign policy, women's rights, or any of that other foolish drivel, no, no. He installed a pig pen in the backyard and enlisted the help of his vice president, Richard Mentor Johnson, to shovel the poop of the pigs in said pen. All of this really happened. We ain't lying. Bah humbug. I hate having to shovel all this pig crap. Oh, hello there, Mr. President. Oh, Richard, another year gone by, another crop of piggies wrangled. When the old sundial rolls around in the holiday season, I always get to thinking, oh, Jesus Louise, Richard, I've stepped in a poo. Why hasn't this been shoveled yet? Sorry, Mr. President, I couldn't shovel it because I had to meet with the French ambassador before you made me shovel it. Priorities, Richard, priorities. Remember, you are the vice president. It is your job to have all the poopies shoveled. <laughs> now show me my piggies. Oh, hello, Constance, Constable, and my least favorite, Eustace. <laughs> Oh, these piggies are beautiful indeed. Oh, Constance, Eustace, not so much. But the other two, yes. <laughs> you hear that? That's right, you dumbass pigs. <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> Mr. President, the Chief of Staff needs to speak with you urgently. <sighs> my day job getting in the way of my passions yet again. Till we meet again, piggies. Oh no! Another poo on my footsies! Confound it all! <laughs> okay, lads, today's the day. It's ten days left till Christmas, and we're still jailed behind the bars of this pen! Who's ready for a revolution? Okay, but why does the president keep singling me out? <laughs> what? I'm talking about a revolution here, pig! Yeah, I'm with your revolution stuff, but like, do you notice how he keeps saying that like Eustace is the least favorite? Like, what's up with that? Are you getting mad? <laughs> oh, Constable, I'm not so sure about the revolution. We may be confounded the kind funds of this pen. But Martin Van Buren provides for us, gives us food, mud, and dental, which is great because we can have dentures made of the finest oak. Oh, Constance, you're stuck in your ways, you old pig. We need a revolution now. Christmas is coming. Don't you want to see your family back home? That would be a dream, to see my pig wife. <laughs> then follow my lead. I have a plan. First, we kidnap that pool guy. Then, we get the boss man over here and we say, Listen, pal, unless you want to be a pig poo mountain, you're going to have to meet our demands. Can one of those demands be like, be less mean to Eustace? Like, what the hell? Quiet, Eustace. And if he doesn't listen to our demands, we'll bring him down from the presidency and into the pen. Oh, peace! I'm ready to abuse my authority. Oh, crap a doodle doo He is coming back! Just follow my lead. Constance, are you with me? Are you ready for a revolution? Oh. I do want to see my family for Christmas. Okay, I'm with you. Oh, poop fun pee! Another poo on my foot! Richard! Sorry, Mr. President. Maybe next time you can step around the poop? You don't tell me where to sit. I'm the potus, and you're the vapotus. <laughs> oh, piggies, who's your boss? Uh, you don't understand you, sir. Oh, oh, well then I must use pig speak. <laughs> who's <laughs> your boss? <laughs> oh, cowardly swine! They remind me of you, poop boy. Ah, that is it. I did not become vice president of these 26 United States to shovel pig crap. 
I knew it would be a part of the job, but I expected some other things too. Richard! You disgust me. Get out of my sight! Actually, wait. I'll get me out of your sight. Be gone! Oh, good heavens! I'm basically a pig poo mountain at this point! All right, Constance. We've isolated him. <laughs> now to confine him to the stables. Confine who? Me? Oh, no. The poo man can understand us now? Yes, of course I can understand you. You spend enough time shoveling something's poop, you get a pretty good understanding of who they are. Guys, this could be what we need. Opposable thumbs could change the tide in our favor. Who, man? Would you like to join our movement? Poo Man? I have a name, you know! That name is Richard Mentor Johnson. Or, as my friends call me, Dick Mentor. But, in that case, you can call me Richard Mentor Johnson. Richard, would you like to join forces with us? to topple the tyrannical regime that is your poop overlord so we can go home and spend time with our families this Christmas? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, my pretty friends, let's go! Merry Christmas! <laughs> and that is the true meaning of Christmas. Oh, and also how the CIA got started. Happy Holidays!